In this video, uh, we are going to discuss about mutual inductance. So, whenever the two inductor which is uh, placed uh, close to each other, uh, there is a magnetic flux uh, uh, caused by the current in one coil which will link uh, with other coil. It will produce a uh, induced voltage in the latter. So this phenomenon is called as uh, mutual inductance. So let me assume this is a, a, a coil. Okay. So here uh, uh, the voltage here is uh, V1. Okay. And uh, the current, uh, the number of turns I have represented in N. <coughs> okay. Uh, because of this voltage, uh, uh, there is a current flow through this coil because of uh, uh, this current uh, uh, it will produce a magnetic field magnetic field uh, okay so let me assume uh, there is a one more coil of uh, n2 uh, which is connected uh, uh, near to this one okay so uh, due to the change in the current uh, uh, the the magnetic flux which produce uh, will change right so uh, so let me assume this uh, the magnetic flux uh, this is as a phi one it is your magnetic flux okay okay so due to the increases in the current uh, the flux get changed right so the flux get changed uh, Uh, due to the change in the flux, uh, the current get produced in the uh, uh, this coil. Okay, so this is called as a mutual inductance. Okay, and the current direction is based on um, change in the magnetic flux. Okay, so if um, if more number of coil is uh, if more number of magnetic flux produce a uh, um, the current uh, will be more, okay? Uh, due to the change in the magnetic flux only, uh, the current get produced and uh, uh, the direction of the current also get determined, okay? So, uh, due to this one, uh, let me assume the current produced here is uh, I, I2 and uh, there is a voltage uh, across this one as wheat. Okay. So let me assume uh, uh, this is due to Faraday's law. Uh, okay. So I can write uh, the V uh, V uh, is due to the number of turns N. Uh, due to the change in the flux okay due to the change in the flux uh, the current get produced uh, due to the current uh, uh, you have a voltage difference across this two point okay so this v i can write it uh, this uh, d5 instead of d5 i can write d5 by di uh, into di by uh, dt okay so I can now write um, this uh, N D phi by D T as L into D I by D T. Okay. So what is L now? L is nothing but your uh, self inductance. So this is equal to N D phi by D I. So now I can write this one as uh, L1 and uh, this is L2, okay? So, so this phi, uh, this phi1, this is phi1, right? So the phi1 I can write it as, um, uh, if this is uh, uh, phi1, I can write it as, um, 
five one one plus five one two. Okay. So the five one one uh, it will link the in the coil one. Okay. And uh, five one two it will link the coil two. Okay. So from this uh, I can write. Uh, uh, V1 is equal to N1 D51 by D10, right? So, this I can write it as, uh, and I can also write it as V2 is equal to N2 D52 by D10, okay? So, V1 I can write it as N1 D51 divided by D I1 into D I1 divided by D10. Okay, so uh, from the uh, so this is this one. Okay, so this I can write as L one uh, D I one by D T. Okay, this is your neighbor. Likewise, I can write V2 is equal to L2 DI2 divided by D2. Okay. So, if I, if I write uh, V1 is equal to L DI, uh, D1 DI1 by D2 rules, uh, Because of uh, uh, from this uh, okay, from this uh, okay, from this uh, equation one, I can write uh, v uh, v two is equal to uh, l n two d five one two divided by d t. So this d five two is um, uh, is due to the uh, uh, linkage of the magnetic flux, okay. That is this one, okay. So I can write uh, this is uh, N2 D512 divided by DI1 into DI1 divided by DT. This 512 was produced due to the uh, I1, right? I1 current. So now I can write this one as uh, M two one, right? M two one D I one divided by D. Where M two one M two one is nothing but N2 D512 divided by DI1. So here the M21 represent the mutual inductance. Okay. Initial inductance of the coil with respect to coil 1. So, similar way if I arrange uh, the coil like this, okay. So, suppose if I give uh, voltage uh, to this one, uh, the current flowing to the uh, this one is N, N, uh, I2. And this is your L2, right? Uh, uh, if I uh, place a coil uh, close to this uh, uh, one, means uh, due to the change in the magnetic flux, uh, the current uh, will produce, which will induce a voltage, right? That is V1. Uh, and the current flowing through this one is I1. Okay? So... 
uh, this magnetic flux uh, linking this coil uh, is linking to this one. Um, I can write to phi two is equal to phi two one plus phi two two, right? So the phi two one is um, uh, linking the Oh, the coil one, right? This one is uh, linking the coil two. Okay, so on the second equation, okay, so how to write the second equation? V two is equal to V two is equal to Yang two d phi two divided by D T, okay. So Yang two D phi two divided by D I two into D I two divided by D T. So this I can write it as. Uh, so what is this one? This is Yang two, right? Yang two D I two divided by D T. This is your V two. B phi. Two one. Okay. Uh, due to the um, so this uh, flux will link the uh, turns one, right? Okay. So it will induce a voltage V one. So I can write uh, N one D phi two one divided by D I two. This is due to the current uh, due to the change in the current of uh, D I two. Okay. So this I can write it as um, m one two m one two di two divided by d. This is your v one. That your m one two is equal to n one d phi two one divided by the root. So. If uh, m one two and m two one is equal to m, so m represents the mutual inductance between these two coils, and uh, L is nothing but your uh, uh, self inductance. Uh, both are measured in kilojoules. Okay. So this is uh, your uh, V one and this is your uh, V two, okay, and this is your L one and this is your L two means um, <coughs> the current flowing through this one is I one, and uh, uh, this uh, so V two is I can write it as M D I one divided by D two, right? Due to this current, uh, you have a mutual inductance. So if uh, uh, both the currents are, um, so both the dots are in uh, same, uh, you will get uh, positive one. Okay. Suppose if uh, in like this means uh, you have you will get a minus C M. Okay. So the next one is um, if, um, if this is the case. Okay, one current is uh, uh, entering this uh, dot, and another current is uh, leaving this dot. Okay, so that is the case. Uh, you will get uh, V one. Okay, V one is equal to minus M D I two divided by D. So 
So in this, um, here the uh, current is leaving, uh, but here the current is entering. So it is um, uh, V1 is equal to minus M di2 by dt. So and vice versa. Okay. So in similar way, I can write um, this is your L1, L2, and if these two dots are here. Okay, the current flowing through this one is I. Okay, I1. So I can write uh, L is equal to L1 plus L2 plus uh, 2M. Okay. So in other case, um, this is your L1, L2. Okay, so the current, uh, this is your I. And uh, the mutual end return is M. Okay, so I can write L is equal to L1 plus L2 here. Uh, one current is entering, another the same current is leaving. Okay, so I can write L minus 2M. Okay, so this is called a serious aiding. And uh, this one is serious opposition. Connection. Okay.